Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in the following videos I will explain how admin needs to set up submission form. There are plenty of details to cover so we will have more than one video explaining each step. In this video I will show how to create submission form necessary pages and how to select the fields that will show in submission form. The submission form can be found in user dashboard, add new listing, The page for Add New Property and Edit New Property will be included in Demo Import, but if you do not wish to use demo content, the pages need to be manually created from Pages, Add New Page. For Add New Property, you need to select the User Dashboard Submit Step 1 template and for Edit New Listing, you need to select user dashboard edit template. The first template add new property will be used for the first section of the submission form, the description section, but to be able to continue adding more details, the edit new listing will need to be created. In team option payments and submit, listing submit page, you can find settings for submission page and from here admin will select the fields that will show in submission form and make other settings. Here you will be able to select the rentals type, vacation rental or object rental. Vacation rental usually refers to listing bookings and object rental for objects like boats or office rental. If vacation rental is selected, the number of guests will need to be set up in general, booking settings, maximum guest number. This number will show in submission form here. Object rental will not work with guest enabled, so if object rental is enabled, the show the guest dropdown will need to be set to no. The next section refers to city and area fields in submission form. The admin will be able to choose if drop downs will be displayed or fill in fields. Next, admin will be able to select the fields that will show in submission form. And in the next section, admin will be able to select mandatory fields for submission form. The next five options are used to rename labels in submission form and in lists where main category or end secondary category show. I will show an example. I will add numbers to make the changes more obvious. Save. Here you can see that the label was replaced and here and here where main category and secondary category are used in lists. Next admin will be able to set the number of images that an owner will be able to upload to a property and the last option is the URL where the user will be redirected after the property is submitted. By default, if you leave blank, after the last step from submission is finished, the page will reload. You will not be redirected to another page. But here you can add the link of home page or my properties list. These are the global settings for submission form. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when the next videos will be published.